Africa. What's up beautiful people? Today's video is all about Georgia. It's beautiful, it's friendly, it's delicious, it's exhilarating and I think it should be right at the top of your travel list. After a month long trip all around Georgia, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 things that we love the most while traveling this country and why you should go there ASAP. Number one is Tbilisi, the amazing capital city and honestly one of my favorite cities in the world now. It's got good food, beautiful views and it's got so many opportunities for exploration but it still feels manageable, it still feels relaxed and it doesn't feel like you can go too far wrong by spending a few days there. You can get a cable car up to a centuries old fortress or a funicular up to an old Soviet theme park or you can spend time exploring back streets and the hipster areas with paintings and graffiti all over the walls and even stay in one of these hipster areas in one of the most famous hostels in all of Europe called Fabrica or you can do like we opted to and stay in the old town with its narrow winding streets on the side of the hill. Next up, we've got the mountains. Honestly, the best days that we had were spent in the mountains. We hiked, we got four by fours, we went to glaciers, we went over ridges. The views were insane and uh, the rugged beauty of Georgia is pretty unparalleled in my mind. I haven't traveled to anywhere quite like it where you'll have the wild horses and the wild cows walking past you or you'll be crossing over glacial streams coming down from further up the mountain. You can't talk about a trip to Georgia and not talk about the mountains. Number three is the food and it really was some of the best food I've had on my travels. If you like cheese and you like bread, then Georgia absolutely has you covered. That's really <laughs> Our favorite was probably the kachapuri, which is, well, it comes in many different ways, but our absolute favorite was this kind of boat of bread filled with cheese and an egg yolk and butter. And I mean, it, it probably isn't good for the heart and the arteries, but it is just so, so good for the soul. Another of my favorites was ojahuri, which is a pork dish with fried potatoes and onions and peppers and spices. It, it was just so, so tasty. We also tried hinkali, which is this dumpling dish and they can be filled with meat or cheese or potato. And in general, I'd say it's a good place to travel if you're a vegetarian because a lot of the dishes are based around the bread or the cheese or the really fresh salad. And there are a lot of meat dishes if that's what you're after as well, but it's not difficult to stay away from the meat at all. I also really, really back the wine ice cream that we tried. <laughs> mm. And that brings us nicely on to number four, the wine. It's cheap and it's really, really good. In some restaurants we'd pay 10 lari or around three pounds for a litre of homemade wine that tasted really, really good. Kacheti is the most famous wine producing region in the country and is only a few hours from Tbilisi and can even be done on a day trip. When we went, we stayed there for a few nights and stayed in the city of love, Signagi, and we went on a wine tasting trip and it was just set amongst the beautiful hillsides and it was just absolutely delicious. But of course, we can't mention the wine without mentioning the cha-cha, which you will have to try if you're in Georgia. It's a Georgian brandy, which we don't really know the percentage of, but we've heard it can be over 60% and we were even given it by some of our hosts as shots that we had alongside our breakfast. Number five is the affordability. We'd pay £10 per person per night for a really nice guest house and you can get a decent meal with wine for less than £3 per person. 
If you're willing to go for bakery items for lunch or for getting bread for your hikes, then it can be under a pound for your meal and you will be as full as anything. Another reason why it's so affordable is because a lot of the activities you'll be doing will be free because you'll be hiking. Hiking in the mountains, walking around cities, doing not much other than walking and eating so you can keep it quite cheap. Transport between towns often costs only a few pounds and in Tbilisi it is 50 cents or 13p to do one journey on the metro. Next up is the history. Georgia was the second Christian country in the world and also claims to have the oldest wine producing region of anywhere on the planet. Other than this, there's a huge amount of other history with its cave towns and more recently its Soviet roots. Stalin was actually born in Georgia in a town called Gori, which is only an hour away from Tbilisi and a lot of people visit to go to the museum. We didn't end up going in, but we did enjoy visiting the Soviet theme parks that were on hilltops in different towns in the country. Number seven is the opportunity for adventure in Georgia. Our single best experience of the whole trip, if not our whole lives, was when we flung ourselves off a mountain and went paragliding over the stunning mountain ranges of Georgia. Other than this, you can see ice and rocks falling from a glacier, get in a 4x4 and go on an adventure up a mountain, or go on beautiful hikes over precarious ridges. I guess another adventure that you can have is jumping in a taxi, where you'll be in an old rusting larder and have a driver that wants to race up the side of a mountain seemingly as close to the edge as possible. And that brings us on to number eight, the journeys. They say that when you travel, it's not always about reaching the destination, but about the journey to get there. And that is definitely the case when you're traveling in Georgia. We got a train that took us across the whole country and for the entirety of the journey, there were just mountains passing by the window. If you're traveling by car or by bus, you shouldn't be surprised if you see lots of animals just in the middle of the road or if you have to come to a sudden stop because there's a group of cows that you can't quite get around. I'm in the here. The journeys are all a part of the experience of traveling in Georgia. Next up is the people. When you arrive in Georgia, you'll be met with open arms and you can really sense this feeling that to have a visitor is to have a gift from God. You'll arrive at guest houses, they'll welcome you in, and then the next morning, you'll be given a huge breakfast with 10 plates of different things, and you'll have to try and sample all of it, but believe me, there will be no way that you will finish absolutely everything. How's breakfast? A feast. Oh my gosh, how much is it? Jeez. That is so much. We were walking through Tbilisi one day, and we made a new friend called Eric, who saw that we were visitors to the town and asked us where we were going. We didn't quite know where a market was, so he took us with him and he led us directly to the market, explaining a little bit more about his country and explaining different items when we finally got to the market. And another day we were just walking through Kutaisi, another town in Georgia, when a lady just walked up to us and gave us a karalioki, a local fruit, and then just told us it was for us and walked off. But perhaps my all-time favorite interaction that we had while we were in the country was when we were hiking in Svaneti and a man called us over when we shouted Gamma Jabba or hello and he tried to teach us how to scythe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm made for work in the, in the fields. It didn't go too well. And number 10, the dogs. There is no way that I could have finished this video without mentioning our furry four-legged friends who welcomed us just as much as all of the humans that we encountered on our travels around Georgia. There were so many stray dogs but what was nice was that these stray dogs weren't treated as a nuisance but they, there was almost a, a sense of shared ownership over these dogs and they would be fed and they would be looked after and they would be stroked and they would be loved and we definitely did our best to give a lot of love to the dogs because they were fantastic. We made friends with dogs that would hike with us, we made friends with dogs that would stay with us just for a few moments and on our last day we made friends with Tilly who uh, I almost didn't leave Georgia because she was so fantastic. 
But there you have it. They are the 10 things that we love the most during our travels in Georgia. If you want to see any more of these experiences in greater detail, then please do check out the huge vlog series that I created from our time in the country. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more travel related content. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. Big love. And it feels good around Georgia. It's beautiful, it's friendly, it's delicious, it's exhilarating. And I think it should be right at the top of your travel list.